The parallax of our true forms are only seen through the amplified darkness of the once perceived self. Through the lens of a camera, the world views you, molds you, and adjusts your very existence to their will. Our will. Behold them. For they are watching. Walking through the nunnery, we found nothing that led us back to the Order Obscurum. What we do know, however, is that the Order's history is littered with fire, child death, and satanic worship. Hopefully, the dark shadow that covers the Order will be pulled back, and the most obscure cult in the annals of American history will have a little light with new information shed upon it. Our videos have always been about the dark and unusual. So as we did our research online, we came across something called dark web unboxing videos. Now, if you don't know what a dark web unboxing video is, I recommend you look it up, sit back, and have a good laugh. Because they are most certainly faked. The idea that a serial killer would take evidence from a crime scene and send it to you is not only absurd, it's downright ignorant. Much like most of our videos talking about urban myths, we dig deep into the research. We get our teeth in there. So we're going to do the same with the dark web unboxing videos. We're going to sink in our teeth deep. And we want you there for it. So give us a like, a subscribe. And that way you're there with all the new information about these dark web unboxing videos. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Dark Legends. James! What? What do you mean, what? don't you what me? You know you miss me. What do you want, man? I'm busy. Are you doing naughty stuff on the internet? I knew. No, what is he doing? I'm Check not doing out. naughty stuff on the phone. Look, 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 look. Uh -huh. What? You doing? Hey, what are you buddy? Funny, dude? <laughs> oh, do you not like being on camera? You know I don't like being on camera. You know I do not like being on camera. Why? With your smiling face? Look at that smile. Oh, that looks like a Victorian torture method. All in that one gleaming... Okay, I'll stop. What are you drinking on? Coffee. I made you some. You actually made me coffee? I made you coffee. Oh my god, I take back half of the bad because, things I've said about because you. Because a good friend oh, it's makes... It's my favorite mug. Yes. A good friend makes a friend coffee. Mm-hmm. And doesn't film them when they don't want to be filmed. Are friends not supposed to film friends? No. You see, there's a reason why you're in front of the camera and I'm behind the camera. You are the personality for the online fucking bullshit. And don't I you am air the, quote me. And I am the researcher of the show. And the... 
filmmaker, if you will. Although I don't think anything we do necess- you know, is necessarily I would be considered are you, filmmaking. Are you embarrassed that I caught you making a dating profile for a beastie? I'm not so- making it. What? Repeat that? <laughs> uh, what I meant to say was, the true question yeah. was, um, so how excited are you about the dark web box? Do you see the face that I'm currently making? Kind of, unfortunately. But that's your normal day-to-day scowl. This is true. But, I mean, with the dark web unboxing video... By the way, is this some sort of weird behind-the-scenes bullshit you're trying to pull on me? Like, let's show the the behind-the-scenes of the show. Is that what you're doing right now? Is that the thing that you're currently fixated on? I'm totes not even filming this As if people really give a shit what we look... What we do, what we look like outside of the... Thing that we make... Who hurt you? Nobody hurt me. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I think that this box is an opportunity to dive into what people might be if we're gonna, no, no, you know, scared of. If we're going to talk about this. They're sending their fears. If we're going to talk about this and we're going to do all this, you're going to put that on a tripod and you're going to get in the frame with me because I frankly do not feel like being the focus of this conversation. I'm not going to lie. I am craving some coffee. All right. You keep that smile on your face. All right, dude. So you got the camera up like you wanted. Are you happy? You happy with the camera angle? I'm never happy. I know. Neither am I. So what do you want to talk to me about? Uh, What are we doing? What are we doing? I want to order the dark web box. Well, I know that. But why do you want to order the dark web box? I mean, why? Because you announced that on our new episode without even consulting me. About this new episode. It was too brilliant not to do. Brilliant. Every jackass. Every major. Hey, those are our jackasses out there. Every jackass. Mm -hmm. On those websites. Mm -hmm. Are doing the same thing you want to do. And frankly, I don't think it's smart. I mean, we go on the dark web and we go on the dark web a lot. You know that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to order something. And have it sent to your P.O. box. Please don't tell me you're going to send it to your house. And then we're going to do a video on it. And people are going to think it's bull. We know it's fun. And then we waste their time. But what if? Hello out there to all of our Dark Legionnaires. It is game day for me. It is the time where I am headed to the post office. I'm headed to my local postal service to get, it's like Christmas, even though it's not December right now. I'm about to go pick up my dark web secret box. I am so freaking stoked, you have no idea. This is something I ordered. I'm kind of surprised how fast it came in. I ordered this from the dark web. They say, oh, it's full of mystery, it's full of this, or maybe it's just complete bull crap. Well, we are gonna find out today what is in the box, what is in the package, the box. I don't even know what it's gonna be. We're gonna figure out what's in the dark web box. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be either spooked out, freaked out, scared shitless, or maybe just bored. We have no idea what's gonna be in there. I don't know if it's gonna be maybe just some bird feathers when, ooh, or it might be somebody's like actual severed genitalia. This could be crazy. But here's the fun part, the part that, uh. I might get in a little bit of cool trouble for. Hey, I like getting in trouble. James has no freaking idea that I ordered this. James is gonna be either ecstatic or James is gonna be pissed off. So I'm pulling up to the post office now. So we're gonna see what we can get going for here, ordering from the dark web. He's coming, Corgi. James to James, James, James. James to James, James, James. James, James. James. James! Oh, dude, go look, look. The uh, the Corgi and I have great news for you. Here, put this on. Put Why this am on. I putting the transmitter on? Oh, do I have a world of goodies for you. Possibly. Hey, I appreciate you wearing a uh, slightly less macabre black today than normal. Is your closet just like a pit of dick despair? Yeah, actually it is. That makes sense. Hey, so guess what came in today that we ordered? There's no we. I didn't order shit. Well, maybe I ordered it on the company card, but what's important is it's here. 
It's here. It's upstairs. Let's turn that frown upside down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. What exactly are you talking about? What did you order? All right, listen did, to me. No, 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 no. What did you order? I'm, dude, I'm, I'm at half chub just thinking about this. The box is here. Please, for the love of all that is holy, please tell me you did not buy a dark web box off the dark web uh, on a personal computer with a personal credit card. Well, when you say it like that, it's not as fun. Come on, upstairs, let's go. Come on, come on. You're an open, idiot. Open, open, open. I know, You're I know. an idiot. I know, you're open, 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 come on. Dude, I'm like giddy right now, you have no idea. I might just pee my pants out of happiness. I really hope you shit yourself, actually. Well, that's a bit too far. Hey, Mary. Think of what's in there. You excited? Are you excited? What's see, it? You see your boyfriend? Look how happy. He's a moron. Look how happy. Who's the fucking moron? You. Well, I'll be when we're super cool famous. Well, guess what? He's your problem now. That's right. All this awesomeness is going to be your problem now. Get the out of my face. No. Dad. Oh, so this is what you're talking about. This is the magical piece of art that you're, you're talking about. How freaking happy are you right now? There is a limitless world of wonder in front of your eyes. Wow. Is that so? There could be anything in there. Anything? Think about it. Everything we've been looking for. We could have proof of just the most ethereal, like ghostly anything in there, or it could just be a murder weapon with six different victims' blood on it. How many times do I have to tell you that murderers do not send boxes to random people? But what if they did? I mean, look at the markings on this thing. What the hell does 9281 mean anyway in the four quarters of the circle? I mean, you explain that shit to me. Our readers, our listeners, our watchers are going to eat this shit up. All right, up. since you went ahead and ordered the box... Uh-huh. On a personal computer, with a personal credit card, even though I told you not to, we'll go ahead and we'll open the box. Yes! We're gonna, let me set up the cameras, get all this ready, and we'll go ahead and, and do your little dark web box video that you keep bugging me about. I freaking love you, mate. You're, this is going to be so worth it. You have no idea. You know, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. I know you don't believe me, but it, it's going to happen someday. I'm actually okay with that, as long as you make a little box about me. Okay. Well, a little box about you? Yeah, and then sell it to somebody online. Okay. Well, all right, well, let's get started so we can get this shit over with. This is history in the making. Yeah, go ahead and get a shot of that box, buddy. There you go. That's Daniel's happiness. But not mine. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Legends. What I have in front of me is an honest to Odin true and blue dark web box. Now, I know what you're thinking, because if I was sitting where you're sitting, I'd be thinking the exact same thing. Bullcrap. I am willing to rest my name and my entire reputation to assure you this is a dark web box. Now, myself and James, we have not yet opened the box, but from initially looking at it, it's pretty lightweight. On the outside, there are some very interesting things kind of scribed upon it. On your side, you're going to see some numbers. I have 115 and 71. And on the opposing side, we had 92 and 81. Now, running on the opposite sides of the box, blank. The tape is oddly white. Normally you would see a dark or a gray color tape on these, but this is white. And on the top we have a symbol of what initially appears to be some type of serrated knife or possibly a strange blade of grass with what looks like instructions to cut open. So, let's get to it. Nothing too out of the ordinary with the naked eye. And it's sealed pretty well. You ready to take a look? So inside the larger box, we have a smaller 
second item. Let me go ahead and open this up and it feels slightly cold or damp to the touch. Uh, geez, this this definitely, maybe, is blood. Um, and this is also kind of lightweight. And the rest is just packing. So we're done with that. Our second item is maybe a t-shirt or a cloth that is also wrapped in and we won't know exactly what this liquid is on it until we get it tested but I'm gonna say it's blood getting through more tape is second box has a very distinct odor, kind of foul and irony, that it's like an iron that gets in your mouth. It's sticky, I don't know if I should really be touching this the way I'm touching this. The smaller box inside appears to be covered in a type of string or very thin rope, again with the possible blood all over it. Also sticky and a form of a wax of some sort. Wax that appears to have been semi-burnt. It's grayish in matter. So far, like all the other boxes online, this has been relatively straightforward, but this one doesn't have all the random bullcrap in it that looks like somebody found forgotten items underneath their car seat. This looks pretty interesting. I, I gotta admit, right now I am kind of, well, I'm pretty freaking excited, but also a little creeped out, so let's keep going. So we're gonna cut through the string on the least bloodied side. All right, so we've got more numbers written on here initially. I have 57 period, 11 period, 12 period, 29 period, 110. I don't know what that means. All right, let's figure out where we can find another entrance into it. And the wax has made this kind of difficult. I think I found a way in. Here we go. Guys at home, you ready? There's another, what appears to be maybe a smaller item or box inside. Again, wrapped in the same string as the larger box that this was in. Now, of all the other unboxing dark web videos that I've seen, the it's just filled with random items and bull crap, but this one appears to actually have another one inside. And unlike those boxes that kind of just end with no purpose or meaning or maybe some random cryptic uh, bull crap, uh, hopefully this will answer those questions as to what we've been unpacking. So what I'm thinking is here, this, I'm seeing a connection, this looks like a hard drive. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take another look at this, we're gonna figure out what all this is. We're gonna plug in this hard drive and maybe this will answer what all this means. Uh, I'm kinda creeped out right now. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, you might be too. So stay tuned to the next episode of Dark Legends where we find out what is on this hard drive from the deep web? You are watching what might be the most important episode of Dark Legends so far. On our last episode, we uncovered and opened 
the dark web box. Now on the inside of that box, if you remember, I was a little creeped out when I discovered this. Now, this is a hard drive that is wrapped in kind of a string that almost has a hay-like material that the box this was in was covered in potentially blood and definitely wax. Now we watched what was on this hard drive and what we found was disturbing. What you are about to see is exactly what we found on this hard drive. The images are surgical, they are disturbing, they are contemporary, yet almost classic in the same respect. Now we're not aware if what we've seen on this footage is authentic, but if it is, we might be on the brink of a major discovery in the world of crime, in the world of horror. If this isn't real, then we've seen an absolutely brilliant fabrication. I want you to be aware, the footage that you are about to see is raw. It is unedited and untouched by us. It came inside this box here with numbers and figures on it that could mean one of a thousand things. These might be locations. These might be occult sigils. This might be human blood. This might be dye from your local hobby store. But the wax is real, the box is real, the confusion is real. And these items all contained this. And this contained what you're about to watch. Be warned. That was fucking stupid. I enjoyed that. You enjoyed watching that. I mean, if you're referring to the opening of our deep web box, absolutely. Was your heart not pumping through your chest over what that could have been, what that is? No. 
Okay, I think you're selling yourself a little short here. We're experts in this. We've seen the bullshit. We've seen every jack off who tries to pass something off as a haunting or as, oh, I was beaten up in my sleep or whatever. We know the fakes. This has an air of authenticity to it. Does it? The people I hate most on this planet are these low-budget, independent horror film directors who are the fucking scum of the earth. Thank you. And let me tell you something. Thank you. That's not what this is. I'm a low-budget filmmaker. I know. So when we're watching this video, I was like almost, I felt I was being pulled in to what Uh I was watching. There's something to this. This was not created just to be edgy, bro. There's something about this, and I I think we should explore it. Did you get it? What? What? I think we should explore this. No, no, no. We are not exploring anything. We are not. Going any further with this, you you said you wanted to do one dark box. Mm-hmm. We did the dark web mystery box thing. You got it out of your system. It's time to move on. Give me 37 reasons why we shouldn't do this. You don't need 37 reasons. You only need one. And the one is, is that it's stupid. How very quaint of you. That, that, that's the honest truth, bro. All right. Well, look, I don't want to fight about this. No, so. There's no fight. I you- agreed to one. And now we're going to move All on. Right, well, so promise me I owe you one. that you're not going to look up any more dark web boxes. Being as I owe you one mm-hmm. and you're my bro. Mm-hmm. I'll let this slide, even though I say we should keep doing it. Now, if this gets a million views, we're hopping back on it. But for now, I'll let it go. Okay. Well, when we hit a million views, which will be never... We'll hop back on the dark web mystery box train. I'm telling you I'm right. Until then, we'll figure out some new material. We just did the nunnery. We we got this out of the way. I'm sure there's plenty more we can find. So. Uh, I know what would top this. Elderly poltergeist were panthers that attack people for sex. Or has that been done before? God, I fucking hate you. I know. I really hate you. Just turn something on. God. Jesus. No, it's the best of Rachel Ray. (laughs) Get it, girl. Fucking idiot. Well, hey, pretty girl. (laughs) Hey, dude. Do you live without that camera in your hand? I mean, kind of. I was born with a camera in my hand, some would say. Hey, put on that sexy thing that I love. It doesn't fit. I already told you. No, no, no. The sexiest thing a woman can wear. A lavalier. Yes! You even knew the name of it! Why but, do you want me to wear this? Because song? I want to hear your gorgeous voice. That is not why you want me to wear What are you yes. doing? What are you Nothing. filming right now? How, what do you make you think I'm filming? Because there's a f- camera in my face. <laughs> you asshole. What are you doing? I'm packing for my trip that I've told you about four times this week. Wait, you're leaving me? Oh, yeah. Big <gasps> no! Oh, it's going to be a beautiful getaway. On the wonderful streets of Berlin. It's a business trip. Wait, you're not taking any of my stuff, are you? Those uh, are my panties. You can't take those from me. I did bring these just so I can think about you while uh, I'm gone. Wait, how long are you going to be gone? A week. A week? A week. I can't even feed myself. You're going to leave for a week? That's very unfortunate because the last time you tried to cook, you almost burned down the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to be calling you every single minute of every day being like, hey, how do I make French toast? How do I make no, no, bread? No, 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 no. You want to know why that's not going to be happening? Because I did not purchase an international plan. You will not be able to get in touch with me. The you time dumb this. dummy. That was like number two on the list. Oh, but I did that on purpose. It's serenity. It's peace. The things that you do to get away from me. Why is this thing in my face? I just like. <laughs> Why is this thing in my face? Get this thing out of my face. I'll get it in your get face. Get it out of my face. What the <laughs> f- are you filming? Why are you filming? Uh, well, I just. Okay, hang on. You exasperated, so it's not good. Did you piss off James again? Okay, Did you scare his cat? Believe it or not. I only am halfway responsible for James being pissed off this time. Okay, well then what did you do? Okay, have you noticed though, he's like carrying a really dark weight on his shoulder lately. That's because you're his business partner. Well, I thought maybe it was a sleep deprivation and all that, but he's like generally bothered by some shit. Uh Uh-huh, what did you do? Well, we just, it's something we got online that we're using for basically for research for the channel and the people are eating it up. They love it. No, it's great for the channel. It's great for the business. Y'all been really secretive about it. What is it? It's a long story. It's a bunch of just, it's, 
it's, babe, I got time. It's basically ancient history that we're just kind of uh, knocking the dust off of. Uh-huh. But I'm going to miss you. So when you come back, I'm just going to be a bag of bones. I know, seriously, I'm going to send you a dick pic like every nine minutes. Well, what's going to be great is I'm not going to get any of them. Oh, so when you get back, your phone will be physically heavier from all the dick pics. And <laughs> it'll be physically on. heavier yeah. from all the dick pics? Yeah. I don't want that. I don't know if I want that. I'm not I'm not ready. I don't. I'm really nervous about this trip, though. Okay. Well, I'm really nervous. It's well, really important. I have I a good. You need to take it seriously. I have a good feeling about it, and you know I'm always right about these things. Are you? Uh, well, four percent of the time. I don't like this thing. Okay. It's in my face. Well, that's it. You can take that and everything else off. Can I? Yeah. Let me uh, <laughs> let me shut this off. Real quick. <laughs> which can be perceived as the anomaly. We shall, together, open their eyes the way our teacher opened ours. This is a gift. Don't deny it. Guess what time it is, my Dark Legionnaires? It is time to make James's day again. A Christmas has come early a second time with what you ask with this dun 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 uh which actually we were not expecting i'm gonna be honest with you even though it says open me we have some more kind of cryptic uh letters and numbers and this i don't even know what the hell that is i thought i'd seen it all but uh yeah i'm gonna have to see if james can make heads or tails of this and also have to explain to him why we have a second package uh, so, all right, my Legionnaires, stick with me, and we'll figure out why we have a second one, what's going on with that, and uh, stick around for James's reaction, because he's <laughs> he's going to be pissed. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come on in. I'll look at you with your camera again. It's my favorite person. Yeah, yeah. Doing his favorite thing, being angry. Um, favorite person. Why is this here? What is this? What is this? Where okay. did this come from? Okay, about that. Now, here's about the thing. The, oh. So hear me out. Mm-hmm. I didn't order that. I don't believe you, man. I'm Come telling, on, dude. Don't give me that bull. I'm taking the whole dark web bull crap. Okay, the first box. I admit it. I know you're pissed. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed. That envelope came. I did not order that. I actually thought maybe you did. It's kind of a follow-up. But just hear me out here. Why the f- would I order that? Dude, we literally sat on the couch four days ago. And you said to me, Verbatim, I'm not going to order any more dark web boxes. Is that what you think I sound like? That's exactly what you sound like. You're a dick. And now this comes in and it looks like, oh, I don't know, a kid who loves Lincoln Park drew that. And there's more numbers on here and they tried to make it look all scary and spooky. Okay, but the idea is what if, if that's part B to the box being part A? You're not seeing the big picture. What if this is us on the brink of cracking the case? This could be like some cold case, and that is what we need in the envelope. That Maybe is, the killer or whoever he, she, need. or they is, they, they were like, whoever the killer is, whoever he, she, or they are, 
they were like, oh, they didn't solve it on the first one. Let's give them a little more. Let's open the door a little bit more. This is not what I signed up for, man. Yes, it it's is. This is what, what I we want. Up for. Dark Legends, this is perfect. This is what our people want to see. This could be your chance, James, to be famous. Dude, Dude crack this what case. What part of my personality tells you I want to be famous? What part of my shitty personality that you've come to love so dearly tells you I want to be famous. All I want to do is make movies and films, man. I just wanted to make documentaries ever since I was a kid. And so you and I decided we were going to embark on this adventure together. And all we're doing now is just catering to the same stupid shit everybody else says. I don't want to do that, man. What part of that do you not get? Okay, I do agree with you about the part of you having a shitty personality, but I'm Thank saying you. you're wrong about this not being huge. You could be famous. They might build... They might do a, a 11 foot tall bronze statue of James with that amazing goatee. Get that out of my face. Um, they put it right outside of like a female dorm at a, at a uh, like Brown or Ivy League university. All right. And every day women will come out and be like, there's James. He saved that poor girl. I love him so much. And you'll thank me. All right, look. What's it going to take? One more episode. One more. If we do this. Uh huh. If we, if we embark on your little adventure with the dark web, even though I have told you time and time again that it's dangerous, that you never know what you're going to get with these people, we do it my way. We do it my way with everything. Enough of this iPhone bullshit except for your little behind-the-scenes crap. Okay? We're not the Blair Witch Project. We're not one of these paranormal activity shows. You're cutting my balls off here. Okay? Buddy. We're going to do this the right way. We're going to try to make something... Decent and good, but you have to do it my way. And I can't be any more clear about my request here. But that's a yes? That's a yes. Ah, that's a yes! Ah, oh, look at that smile! Ah, oh, he said yes! Ah! Oh. All right, all right, we're gonna get on that dark web, the second envelope. You do realize envelope. that the lavalier you had me put on when I first got in here, you just slapped my chest. So your behind the scenes video is gonna sound, boop, 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 boop. it's got little pops in it. This is what I'm talking about. You get all willy-nilly about stuff. Look, I love need you, you to get out of this office. I love I'm you, going man. to set everything up for the show. You can yourself now. I'm going to do exactly that. Hey, I like that new shade of black that you wore yeah, for us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for yourself. Welcome, my Dark Legionnaires, to another what could be wild episode of Dark Legends. On our last episode, we went through what we received through the mail, through the dark web, to what some would call bullcrap. Others have said, it looks legit. You guys need to keep going forward with this. Do the research. And that's what we love to do for you out there, is the research to see what's real and what's crap. So, we have today in front of me item number two from the dark web. Now this is the important note. The first box that we ordered, we ordered. We paid for that thing and it came in. This came in on its own. We didn't ask for this. We didn't pay for it. This is a bit of a, an anomaly. It's not in a box like the first one. The handwriting appears the same. And if all of our Legionnaires out there will notice that there's more numbers written on this. We have yet to decipher those. We have yet to see what this kind of Lovecraftian item is on the back. I don't know whether that's a drawing or I don't even want to begin to think about what has happened to that creature, but I do want to know what's inside. So let's dig on in, let's open this thing up, and we're going to see what the dark web has to offer us. You ready? Now this is also somewhat lightweight, it's a standard shipping envelope, there's nothing special about this. Now I'm going to try to cut where I'm not going across any of the artwork or glyphs in case those happen to be important during our research. Now, reaching my hand in, this feels familiar. Now, you're opening this together. It's on the hard drive. Uh, remember from our first box in the last episode, there was the wax and the, the, the string that was wrapped around the first hard drive? We have another one. So it's from the same people. Uh, it smells the same. It has kind of a, a musky, stale smell to it. Hoping that's not blood on it. 
and the only thing we're missing here is finding out what's inside. So what we're going to do together is we're going to plug this in. We're going to see what happens. All right, now we're going to watch this together, guys. We're going to have this monitor showing on your screen as well. So we're going to watch this. We're going to learn about what this is together. And we're not going to edit this. This is as raw as it comes. So here we go. Let's hit play. That's got to be real. Right? Hey, Dark Legends fans and Legionnaires. We are here in my kitchen. Hello. And I got to share this with you guys because I am freaked the fuck out. So I was on my laptop doing a little bit of work. And I have a personal email account. This is one that is not for business, not for the show. I only give to very close friends and family. And I received this email. Now, I want to stress, guys, I get an email at this account maybe once a month. And this just came in from a Baron Faluk or Baron Falak. And look, and look at what this thing has inside of it. Kind of hesitant about opening this thing up. It says, open me in weird elite speak. And it's got all these numbers and digits after it. That is freaking me out. I don't know if that's supposed to be some type of like European cell phone number or if that is a strange file name. But no one ever emails me here. And somebody has my freaking email account now. And right after we just received all that stuff off the dark web, I'm kind of fucking freaked out. So I called James. He's on his way over here. I told him I needed him here now because I am not opening this without him here to check out and see what's going on. So we will keep you up to date. Our Dark Legionnaires let you know what the hell is going on with our dark web investigation. All right, dude. You ready to open this thing? I don't even know what to think, man. This, the more I think about it, the more freaked out I get. No, there ain't much we can do about that, brother. You do it. You want me to do it? Yeah, I mean, I know no, it doesn't... No, 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 no. You, Mr. Dark Web Man, wanted this. So you, Mr. Dark Man, gets to open it. Come on. What do you call it? Gifts. They're gifts. So there you go. It's pronounced gifs, but... I'm right. operating a camera, so you need to open it. Three, two... Fuck, here we go. the fuck? It's the same numbers that were on the box. Yeah, for the most part. 9281. What the hell is that? I don't know. It's like a... What is they are watching? I, I, I have no idea. I, mean, I don't know. What is that picture? It kind of looks like some sort of surgical shit. James, this is the same f people who sent us the dark web box. You know, I kind of warned you against this. I knew this shit was going to happen, man. James, the same f people. I, I know, I get that. Have sent us the email. This is my private email. This is not public. We need to email this person back.
Why do you look so spooked? I came over here to burying interesting things. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I just, it's been a hell of a morning. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's jack off. So what's going on? Uh, well, yeah, but no, before that, I got woken up. Uh, really noise. I came downstairs and the front door was open. Yeah? Yeah, and I definitely locked it last night. You sure about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I, you're saying somebody came in your house without you knowing and left the door open. What I'm saying is somebody came into my fucking house. Well, what I'm saying is is you need to change the locks and doors, bro. Yeah, I'll just I'll get around to that later. Don't don't no. No. You need to do it ASAP. Okay? All right, man. So I come bearing interesting news here. Yeah, I gotta eat something. I'm, I'm gonna do a little reveal. Close your eyes. Okay. Do a little reveal. Oh, it's like okay, birthday party ready? thing? Uh huh. Surprise birthday party? Yep. Surprise birthday party. All right, here we go. All right, so. All right, you can look. Okay, is it a colorful pony? No, it's Aww. a black screen. Yeah, it's a, it's a turned off laptop. Yeah, so I went and looked up the IP address. I did a bunch of them, but one actually did click. Oh. Yeah. From the investigation. Yeah. Yeah. One of those IP addresses from the email actually did work. And? What I recorded the... the screen. What the fuck are we looking at? I, I don't know. Is this like a hospital? That's what it looks like. And this is from what you looked up. This isn't like some weird old movie. No, this is this is a live feed. I recorded it. <sighs> Look, our analytics are up almost two hundred and fifty percent from the last video. With this, it's gold. This is platinum. This is unobtainium. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh. This is the best thing that's ever happened to us. Let's go ahead and get ready for another show, but you are not allowed to bring this up. Do you understand me? Yeah, whatever. No. Yeah, man. Whatever you need, got it. Guys, look at this. Another one. It's got another fucking email. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna open this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What the shit does that mean? Was that a, is that a fucking threat? All right, we're gonna scroll down. James is going to lose his fucking mind. Patients must be cleaned and inspected before entrance to surgical chambers. All members must record their findings and make note. Mary, be comfortable. Mary, there's no need to be afraid. Your fear is only a perception of your reality that is slowly breaking down. There's no reason to be afraid of this. No reason to fear what lies before you. I'm ready for the next patient. Welcome to this episode of Dark Legends. Someone from the dark web has made contact with us here at Dark Legends. They obtained an email address that is not made public, that has never been broadcast on this show, and that I have never spoken of. And they emailed me with some interesting, to say the least, content. Which makes me believe that what we're seeing here and now from our dark web package 
is in fact in the real, not in a world of fiction. Uh, as we continue to research this, as James has spent countless time, sleepless nights researching, we have discovered a video feed. We believe this video feed is tied to a medical location. Uh, we have obtained security cam footage that is shocking to say the least. Playing the devil's advocate again, assuming this is 100% real, this means that our first suspicion that red rooms are involved is in fact based on reality. Now, for those who don't know, red rooms are an online, particularly deep web, website that you go to where a real person, we'll call them an innocent, has been placed inside the room and the viewer is able to purchase torture methods that are inflicted on real time on a live stream upon the victim. And more often than not, the innocent victim does not survive the procedure. There are even red room chats and red room groups where people as a whole get to vote on the next excruciating torture method that is inflicted upon the people in the video. We believe here at Dark Legends that we have come across something that might in fact be a red room on the dark web and they have reached out to us in a meeting that is starting to scare the hell out of me. So, my Dark Legionnaires out there, stick with us. We're gonna continue to do the research, James and I, and we will keep you informed. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay on top of this crazy fucking rabbit hole. James? James! Hello Dark Legends fans, my Dark Legionnaires, this is an extra special episode that you have joined us for today. I, at my personal house, at my residence, received a third dark web package. Now it is of utmost importance that I stress, we here at Dark Legends ordered one and only one item. So far we have received three. Two to our P.O. box, and now a third showed up 
at my fucking house. Now what's even creepier is this being the package has no address on it. This was not delivered by anybody with the postal service or any special delivery bullshit. This was delivered by hand to my house by someone working with the dark web. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to wait for James. I'm a little freaked out. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm very confused as to what's going on. So we're going to open this right now on this episode for you guys out there because I don't want to wait any longer. I want to see what's inside this package and if it's another hard drive or maybe another clue to what's going on with that girl, with that institution, like something like maybe like a hospital in there. Uh, so let's, let's dive right into it, guys. Let's make this happen. Here's a package, it even says on it, they are watching, surprise. Again, kind of lightweight, nothing special about this. This one did not come in a box. No surprise there, it's a third hard drive. Now this one is wrapped in the same type of material, almost like a hay feeling string one, but this has no blood on it. The first two, I'm gonna call it blood. A lot of you guys out there that said you'd worked in the medical field and watching the video said that looked like coagulated dried blood. This one doesn't have that on it. Now this was delivered, again, to my front door. I don't wanna to get too far into it, but the people knew exactly where I live, stuff I've never made public and deliver this to my house. So let me plug this in real quick. And we're gonna see what's on there. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna put this up on your end as well. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a trigger warning, a blood warning, a gore, a gore warning, anything. I don't know what kind of warning to give you guys because I haven't seen what's on this goddamn hard drive. It just arrived at my doorstep and opened it right in front of you. So let's tear into it. Let's hit play. That was me. I don't know what 
to say that was me, that was my house in that film. This is, guys, I'm, I'm without words. If this is one of you out there, this isn't fucking funny. You don't get to break into someone's home and film them sleeping. You don't get to break into someone's home and leave random packages out there. If you're out there, stop it. This is not funny. This is not a joke. The prank has gone too far. But the reality of the situation is, if there's not one of you out there, if this isn't a prank, Maybe we're hitting the nail on the head. Do not fight the medicine child. All things shall become clear soon enough. I have so many things to show you. But this is the beginning of something special. I want you to be aware of what's happening. It's fair to tell you that what you're about to experience, so many before you have experienced in such great detail. The pain that you will feel is nothing more than an illusion. And for those watching, a revealing moment of their gratification. It's time. All right. Is that thing rolling? Are you rolling? Yeah, again? it's always rolling. You're rolling in. again on this shit. That's dude. Our, I was literally just making coffee. Our views are up over four hundred percent. Have you seen the analytics? No, I don't care. Okay, Dark Legends is taking off. This dark thing. I'm telling you it's real and the people out there know it's real. Have you read the comments? Then how come when I walked in this house earlier, you look like a scared just like you did last time when I walked here? Because we may have hit the jackpot with what happened today. So I was upstairs, heard a loud noise, came running downstairs, and that door was open and somebody left another package in my home. Wait, 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 dude. Somebody came in your house. I thought I told you to change the locks on the doors. I did change this the locks. Ha did you? Because this happened once before, let alone like just a few days ago. And now it's happened again. Now they're leaving the package. Dude, why don't you call the cops, man? James, I can't have the police involved in this. Yeah, we can have the police involved in this We're because you're my life Do you too. have any idea how close we are? They came into my home. They left the package here. And that's not the first time they've been in here. On that, on that hard drive, yeah, is video. Wait, wait, wait! You opened the thing. I had to look. Don't I don't want to go. With the I'm telling you. Don't go with this shit with me. Don't get your I, to you. Don't, you 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 don't get to blast this on me. Ass. Look, on the hard drive was video of me sleeping. Was video of Mary and I outside our own home. Like they've been in this house filming me. Daniel, I don't think you understand how serious this is. James, you not understand how amazing this is going to no, be. No, it's not amazing. It's not amazing. for the next episode. It's not amazing. There is no other. Ne there is no next episode. Someone out there has no, access to you, my home. I don't think you understood what I just said. With new locks, and they have, they filmed me sleeping on my own. You hear me? I'm not going to be a part of a next episode if you're pursuing this, on, dude. James, you, you can't give up on this. Now. I admit, I'm not putting my life in danger. You're. This is like giving up on flight right before we're about to go to the moon. This is it. Dude, this is the torch in the Statue of Liberty. This is our crowning achievement. If they're willing to go so far as to break into my home and film me, we're on to something. Pranksters don't do this shit. Pranksters put a potato in your, in your tire and light the door stop and then hit the doorbell. They don't break into your home and commit felonies. This is real. 
we're on the brink of something great. You know, man, when something bad really happens to somebody we know, to me, to you, because of your little pursuit, what well, the f do you do then? Listen, I give you my word, nothing. Now, and your me. word means by the way, because every word you've ever given has led us down nowhere. Has this. led us, this is the yellow brick road. No, there is no yellow brick road, man. It's it's road paved in This is, what it is. This is and the I'm road. with it, I'm telling you. This if is, you pursue this, I quit. Mainstream Mysteries, the channel that we're up against, we're beating them now. Don't turn your back on this. James, uh, hey man, it's Daniel, uh, your buddy. Look, I know you're like super pissed that I ran the episode, uh, even though I kind of promised I wouldn't. Uh, but I received some correspondence that I'd really like to talk to you about. Actually, I think they threatened me. Uh, I got an email again. So please, please call me back, text me. Uh, it doesn't matter what time of day. It's Daniel. Voicemail. Uh, I think that it's pretty shitty that you fucking put that shit up on there. Okay? And now, because you did, I found some really weird shit in my house, man. Some weird shit's been happening ever since. I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want to fucking worry you and I didn't want to fucking believe it. And now, I got people breaking into my fucking house. So you know what? I'm fucking done. You're on your fucking own. You want to pursue this shit? It's all on you, pal. Alright, I didn't sign up for this, I told you I didn't sign up for it, and frankly, even if it wasn't real, I don't want people fucking breaking into my fucking home. Look, you my boy, and I love you, man, you're my friend, but this is not what we talked about, and this is not gonna f So I tell you what, you f me when you're ready to get over this sh but only when you're ready to get over this sh Not, I don't hate you. Not, it's not that I'm not your friend. I just think that you need to handle this on your own, and I'm gonna go live my. F I'm not getting. I'm not. This this can't happen to me. I'm sorry, man. All right. Look, love you, bro. I'll talk to you soon. You take care of yourself. I hope you hear back from Mary. All right. Be good. Bye. Shit. Dark web package. Now, it is of utmost importance that I stress, we here at Dark Legends ordered one and only one item. So far, we have received three. Two to our P.O. box, and now a third showed up at my house. Now, what's even creepier is this, being the package, has no address on it. This was not delivered by anybody with the Postal Service or any special delivery bullshit. This was delivered by hand to my house by someone working.
Daniel. Sorry for all the bruises. Normally, we take better care of our patients. You came looking for us, and I'm happy that you succeeded in finding us. All the clues left for you. James, your friend was a unique help, was he not? A true gumshoe of a man, that one. Saved himself and sacrificed you. You had every chance to walk away, but you didn't. You stayed the course. I'm happy you did. <laughs> An amateur detective in the making, after all. And above all, you found your love. Mary. What was left of her. She was an exquisite subject. Something truly to behold. Did you know, Daniel, about her secrets? About her tainted way of life? <laughs> I doubt you did. Life can be tricky. Don't worry, though. We took care of him for you. 
I figured since you were looking for us and you were such a wonderful host to our ideologies, we would make sure that those who stood in your way would be brought to their knees. I can see you loved her, but she... Hmm, she did not love you. It is our duty, Daniel, to explain procedure, to give clarity. And now you and your pain and your death will give clarity to a world of people who've come to see your suffering in all its exquisite detail. For you, Daniel, pain is temporary, like love, like hatred, like life. Slowly, but surely to an end. And they, those who've come with entry to gaze upon it, to understand it with us, 